We are very privileged to have with us Zunaid Al Mamun, who is the head of the Employment Immigration Department at Raju Law. Mr. Mamun's expertise lies in the practical aspects of the H-1B visa process, and he will be sharing key insights on the application strategies and compliance requirements. Mr. Mamun, please proceed. Thank you, Ms. Isabella. Um, good morning to all our uh, guests from Nepal. Uh, I, on behalf of the Raju Law team, I welcome you again. Uh, in this Zoom webinar, and we are very delighted to see more than 100 participants in this early morning in Nepal. So uh, thank you, everyone. And thanks to Mr. Timal Sina for an extensive review over h one visa and other some other aspects of the um, U.S. visas. So um, after my presentation or after my uh, brief talk, Mr. our uh, attorney, Mr. Raju Mahajan, will discuss uh, in details about the h one b visa and its scope in the USA. Um, so uh, uh, from the employment immigration team, I would like to draw your attention to something else because I was uh, following the chat and there were some questions about if someone doesn't qualify for the h one visa or um, if there is there are other qualifications uh, of the candidates, how can they use the opportunities in, uh, to come to the USA? So apart from uh, h one visa, although this um, session is about h one visa, but there are other visas and all kinds of employment um, based immigration and non-immigration visas are managed by our team. We have a very um, adept team uh, who have been working uh, in, in, in Rajula diligently for over the last uh, four years. And we have uh, dealt with more than 1,600 cases with 99% success rate. So if you do not qualify for Asian visa, there are other avenues as well. There are uh, H2A, H2B visa, which do not require uh, specialty occupation uh, qualification or bachelor degree. Uh, if you're if you're an athlete or maybe uh, if you're in the performance industry or if you're an entertainer, you can come to USA with a P visa. Uh, if you're engaged with a church or, a, you know, a temple or um, some other religious organizations, there are visas available for you. So uh, you can use that as well. Uh, if you're if you want to try to invest in the USA, there are other opportunities for you as well. There are E2 visas for Nepalese, uh, you know, uh, who, who can invest a, a substantial amount of money to USA and uh, do some business, there are opportunities as well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, <clears throat> and if you're working in a Nepalese uh, company, which has an office in the USA, you are also eligible to come to the USA with a, with a work visa that is called L1 visa. So do not uh, let the H1B qualification discourage you from taking our services because we offer a 360 degree services regarding all kind of immigration to the USA, whether that's uh, employment based or some other, um, credential based, whether this is non-immigrant visas or immigrant visas, you can always count on us. And I'm sure you'll be uh, learning more about ourselves. We are just an email away from you. If you have any questions about any kind of employment-based immigration or non-immigration visas, uh, you can let us know. And we have seen uh, statistically that uh, in South Asia, Nepal is one of the top countries who sends you know, uh, qualified people and students to the USA. So um, <clears throat> um, we, we, we look forward to working with you in the, in, in the future. So um, having that said, uh, thank you very much. And I hope you learn more from our attorney Raju Mahajan. Thank you very much.